Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do an ombre on your nails. If you don't know what an ombre is, it's basically a technique where you're blending colors together so they sort of fade from one color to the next. So for an ombre, you're gonna need at least two colors. It works better with a light color and a dark color so the fade is more obvious. With two light colors or two dark colors, you might not notice it. And most of the time you should start with a background color that's either white or another very light color. But a white background usually makes whatever colors you're choosing show up even better and they really pop. Today I'm just going to be keeping it simple. I'm going to go with white and this OPI color called My Dog Sled is a Hybrid. For this you're going to need a makeup sponge. These are the best kinds to use because the sponge pores are very small and they make your look more saturated and smooth. Step one, you want to wet your sponge just a little bit. But you don't want it too wet, so after you wet it down, you want to wring it out really good. This is a really cool trick that helps your ombre come out much more smooth and really saturated. Now you want to paint your nails with your lighter base color. In this case, I've chosen white. I'm only going to use one coat because we're going to be ombreing over it, so you don't need it to look perfect and opaque. This next step is totally optional, but I like to do it because it makes the ombre smoother. After applying my base color, I go over it with a single coating of top coat. That's just regular clear top coat. I prefer the fast dry because it just makes everything go more quickly. Another thing this does is it prevents the white polish from being picked up by the sponge and making a lot of splotchiness in your design. That can happen if you blot too many times with the sponge. And now you can start work on your ombre. The first thing you want to do is loosen the caps because quickness is a factor here. So you want to be able to just grab your polish colors and use them quickly. Now take your sponge, which is slightly dampened, remember? And I'm going to start with my greenish blue color here. You put a very generous coating because if you don't put enough, it won't be a very saturated look and it'll be dry and you can actually cause the design to splotch a lot. Then I'm going to do white under that because I am going to make it blend from this greenish blue color to white. So white will go right there. Again, two or three coats. Even though my nails are already painted white, having this extra stripe of white here will make the colors blend better. Now I want the greenish blue to go at the tip of the nail and the white to go up towards the middle. So I'll position the sponge that way. You just hold your sponge like so and blot across your nail. You wanna do little dabs like this all the way across. And if you want it a little darker, you can go in with a second layer, which I do. We're gonna go in with that second layer now, dab, 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 all the way across. And I like the bottom a little darker, so I'm gonna just dab the greenish part at the bottom and then blend it up. Okay, now we're gonna repeat with the other nails. Now here's something I forgot to do, which I'm about to do. Forgot to put some Heal Off Latex on my skin. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and rub this off very carefully. Try not to touch your nail, but you soak a cotton pad in some nail polish remover and clean your skin off. But so that I won't have to do that with my other nails, I'm gonna paint some of this, the liquid tape, on my skin. Try not to touch your nail when you do this because when you peel up, it'll peel the polish off too. You wanna just get the skin and only the skin, but get as close as you can. And then you can just go back and do an extra coat and touch up the color wherever you think you want it a little more saturated. And at this point, you can go ahead and start peeling off that liquid latex that you had down to protect your skin. It should just peel right off. You might have a little bit left over on your cuticles. That's okay. If you do, just take a nice flat brush or whatever brush you have handy, dip it in a little bit of nail polish remover, wipe it off. You don't want a whole lot on there. Then go back and do a little bit of cleanup wherever you see any polish that may have gotten onto your cuticles. Again, be very careful not to touch your nail. You don't want to wipe your polish off. Now here's the last tip. While the polish is still wet, you wanna hurry up with a clear, fast dry top coat. That'll kinda of help blend the colors together even more and give it a more saturated look.
Okay, so there you go. Now you have a nice, beautiful ombre. You can use all different kinds of colors. I've seen people use as many as three or four colors. They usually fade from light to dark. Or even use light pink, light purple, light blue or green as your background color instead of white. The sky is the limit, so be creative. If you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, if you want to get a notification when I make a new video, click the little bell next to the subscribe button, and it will let you know when I post a new one. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and rock that nail art!